Welcome back everyone. In this lecture we will learn about candlestick patterns. As we know that investor psychologically driven forces greatly influence the stock prices and the overall market psychology can be tracked through candlestick analysis. Candlesticks were discovered in Japan and they are the most efficient ways to do stock trading. So let's understand some powerful candlestick pattern in this lecture. There are basically two types of candlesticks, green and red colored candlesticks. A green candlestick indicates opening price of the session being below the closing price. And a red candlestick shows the opening price of the session being above the closing price. So in a green candlestick, this is open and this is close. Close is always above the opening price. And in a red candlestick, opening price is always above the closing price. So this is the opening price and this is the closing price. See this is the real body and these thin lines are the shadows. These are also called wicks of the candle and these shadows indicates the high and the low of the session. So in this green candlestick, this was opening price and this is closing price. This is upper shadow, this is lower shadow and this is the high of the candle and this is the low of the candle. In a red candlestick, this is opening price, this is closing price. This is lower shadow and this is upper shadow. This is the high of the candle and this is the low of the candle. We can also change the colors of these candlesticks but the most basic colors are green and red. Green color is for bullish candle and red color is for bearish candle. So for every candle here we are getting the data of that candle. Suppose I am choosing this candle. So this is the red candle. This is opening price. This is closing price because in a red candle Closing price is always below the opening price and these are the shadows. This is upper week and this is lower week. So this is the high of this candle and this is the low of this candle. Now if we choose this candle, this is a green candle. It means open is below the close. This is opening price and this is closing price. This is the low of this candle and this is the high of this candle. All these four parameters are shown here. You can see. This is opening O and this is high H, this is low L and this is close C. So if I want to get the data of this candle, all the four levels for this candle have been displayed here. Now let's choose one minute chart. Now see, this is the current candle. We will study the next candle. See, the next candle is green. It means this is the opening price and currently the candle is green. Now Currently this is the high of this candle and now we have another candle. So for this candle, this was opening price and this was the low of this candle and this was high of this candle and prices closed at this level for this candle. Now for next candle, this is the opening price and this was low of this candle and this is high and we will see where we will get the closing price. And based on that closing price, we will get this candle as green candle or red colored candle. Okay, the close was above the opening price. So this candle is a green colored candle and it is a bullish candle. Okay, now see in this candle, this was the opening price. And the opening price is the high of this candle. And this is the low of this candle. We will see where it will close. Now see, this is a dozy bar. We will learn later about this candle. This is a dozy candle in which this is the opening price and the closing price is also the same and this is the low of candle, high is also the same. So in this candle, you can see, see the data for this candle here, opening price is 204.60, high is also 204.60, low is 204.45 and close is also the same 204.60. So in this candle, opening price, high and close are same and low is this. So in this way we can get the data for each candle. Now in this lecture, we will learn about some important candle that gives a signal about the future movement of the prices. First is hanging man pattern. This is the hanging man candle and this is a long candle in which we have a long shadow and the small real body at the top. The body is small enough and the wick or the shadow will be almost twice the body. There is a possibility you may find a very small wick at the top of the body but there should be very long wick on the bottom. 
Now, if this candle is found in a downtrend, then it is called a hammer candle. And if it is found in an uptrend, you can see this is uptrend and in an uptrend we have found this candle, then this is called a hanging man candle. See, this is downtrend and if we get this candle in a downtrend, then this is called hammer pattern. The candle is same, it means we should get a real body at the top and the shadow should be at least twice the real body. In downtrend, it is called a hammer candle because it hammers out the bottom. The color of the body is not much important, but if we get a green colored candle in a downtrend, then it is more important one. And if we get a red colored candle in an uptrend, then it has a lot of importance for us. Now both these candles are the reversal candle. It means if we get this candle in an uptrend, then it is a hanging man candle and this candle gives us signal about the reversal or the correction in the prices. So we can assume that prices will go in downward direction. And if we get this candle in a downtrend, we can assume that prices will bounce back and we can see an up move in the prices. Now in a hammer pattern, the next candle's close should be above the close of this candle and it gives the confirmation about the pullback. And in a hanging man pattern, the close of this candle should be below the close of this candle. Now let's understand the pattern psychology. Here the market is in downtrend and sentiments are bearish. Prices open and start to trade lower. But market returns here to the high of the candle and it shows that bulls have stepped in. They start bringing the price towards the top, thus the resulting candle will have a small real body and a long wick. Here bears couldn't maintain the control and the confirmation would be a higher close on the next candle. Now the hanging man candle, here prices were in uptrend, so we should get higher open and higher close. But when we get this candle, it means that bears are stepping in and bringing the price near the low of the candle. It shows that the demand has been pushing the prices higher, but there was a significant selling during this candle formation. The next candle confirms the downtrend if it closes below the close of this candle. Now for this candle, there should be a support level near this candle that confirms our position and there should be a resistance level near this candle that confirms about the correction in the prices. Now see prices were in downtrend and this is the support level and at this support level here we are getting a hammer candle and the next candle is the green one. Its close is above the close of this candle that gives us a confirmation about the up move in the prices. And you can see after this candle here we are getting an up move in the prices and this is a sharp up in the prices. Now see in this example this is a hanging man candle. Prices were in uptrend and this is 1.618 Fibonacci level that is acting as a resistance level. About Fibonacci tool you will learn later in the course. But here this level is acting as a resistance level. So near this resistance level we are getting a hanging man candle and the close of the next candle is below the close of this candle. So with this pattern we are getting signal about the correction in the prices and you can see after this candle, here we are getting a correction in the prices. In this case, we can employ the stop loss level slightly above this resistance level and in a hammer candle, we can place our stop loss slightly below the support level and see in this case, the low of this candle is below the support level. So in this case, we will place our stop loss below the low of this candle. Shooting star. Now the next candle is shooting star that is a very strong candle, reversal candle and this candle is similar to the previous two candles but in this candle the real body will be at bottom and the shadow will be in upside. See this is small real body and this is upper shadow. Shooting star is exactly opposite of a hammer or a hanging man candle. In some cases it can also have a small wick at the bottom as well but the upper shadow should be at least two times the length of this real body. This candle if found in an uptrend and near the resistance level 
when we can expect a trend reversal from uptrend to downtrend. Obviously, the color of candle is not significant, but the next candle close should be below the close of this candle. And if we have a green candle before the shooting star candle, then it has a lot of significance. So this is a shooting star pattern and now we will see this pattern on the chart. See here prices are in uptrend and this is an important Fibonacci level that is acting as a resistance level for the prices and at this resistance level we are getting a shooting star pattern. Here the color of this candle is green that is not significant but the candle is a shooting star candle and the previous candle is green one we have a gap up opening and the close of the next candle is below the close of this candle so this is a shooting star pattern and we can expect a reversal in the prices when we get this pattern and we can place our stop loss slightly above the high of this candle now again in this chart prices were in uptrend and this was the resistance level from this Fibonacci grid and near this resistance level you can see we are getting a shooting star candle in this case the candle is red and after this candle there is a correction in the prices and prices are going in downward direction here is one more example prices are in uptrend and this is the resistance level near this resistance level we are getting a green colored shooting star the previous candle is green colored and the close of the next candle is below the close of this candle so this is a shooting star pattern and it is giving us a signal about the correction in the prices and after this candle prices are going in downward direction now you can see after this pattern we are also getting a hanging man pattern see this is a hanging man candle because we are getting this candle in an uptrend after an uptrend if we get this candle then it is called hanging man pattern so here we are getting two candles this is a shooting star and this is a hanging man candle and these two candles gives a signal about the correction in the prices and after this up move there is a sharp reversal in the prices in this chart you can see this is a hammer candle because we are getting this candle in a downtrend prices are in downtrend and then we are getting this candle the close of next candle is above the close of this candle and after this candle prices are going in upward direction next candle is dozy candle Dozy is a candle with the same open and close price. It is also a significant reversal candle if found near support and resistance level. See in this candle, this is the opening price and the closing price is also the same. This is the high and this is the low. Though the opening and closing price of Dozy are same, but in some cases they are very near. See in this candle, the opening and closing price are very near. And in this case also the opening price is above the closing price but they are very near to each other. A dozy candle represent indecision. This candle reflects a balance between the buying and selling forces and signals that bulls will not maintain the uptrend because bears are stepping in. So the uptrend can change into a downtrend. Similarly a dozy found in a strong downtrend near a support level signals about the trend reversal see here prices are in a strong downtrend and this is a support level so at this level we are getting a dozy candle that signals about the indecision among the bears and we can see a pullback in the prices see here in this chart this was the resistance level for the prices here and near this resistance level we are getting a dozy candle that gives us signal about the correction and at the same level here we are getting a shooting star candle that is also giving us a signal about the correction and we can see there is a correction in the prices then after breaching this level in upside this level is acting as a support level and at this support level we are getting a dozy candle that gives us signal about the reversal in the prices and after this downtrend here we are getting an uptrend in the prices now two important variations of dozy are Gravestone Dozy and Dragonfly Dozy. Dragonfly Dozy is a candlestick in which open high and close are same with a long lower shadow. This is a bullish reversal candle and gives a signal like a hammer candle. Gravestone Dozy is a candle in which open high and close are same with a long upper shadow. This candle is similar to the shooting star candle 
and signals about the reversal from an uptrend to a downtrend. See in this chart, this is the resistance level and near this resistance level, we are getting two gravestone dozy and it looks like a shooting star candle and it gives signals about the downtrend from uptrend. Here prices are in an uptrend and after these two candles, you can see a correction in the prices. Here also you can see prices are in uptrend and then here we are getting a dozy candle and after this candle, you can see a correction in the prices. Then at the low of this correction, we are getting a hammer candle that is giving us a signal about the pullback and after this correction, prices are going in an upward direction. Now see this is dragonfly dozy and this is the support level. At this support level, we are getting a dragonfly dozy and prices are in a correction phase. So this candle is giving us a signal about the up move in the prices and after this candle, there is an up move in the prices. We can place the stop loss slightly below the support level or at the low of this candle. And also, this is the support level you can see and at this support level, we are getting a dozy candle. Then after this candle, prices are going in upward direction. So all these candles are the reversal candles and if we get these candles near support and resistance level, we can get signal about the future direction. Next is Marubuzu candle. Now all the previous candles were the reversal candles but the Marubuzu candle is not a reversal candle, it is a momentum candle. Marubuzu candles are the candles which have long real body and no wick or no shadow. You can see in this candle, there is no upper or lower shadow. This is open and this is also the low of the candle and this is the close of candle and this is also the high of the candle. Similarly, in a bearish candle, this is open and this is also the high and this is close and this is also the low of this candle. So in these candles, we don't get any wick and in some cases, we can get a very small wick but the major part of the candle should have a long real body. A green colored Marubozu shows strong bullishness and a red colored Marubozu shows strong bearishness. A green Marubozu shows that bull are in full control and very confident and a red colored Marubozu shows bears are in full control and they are very confident. A bullish Marubozu indicates that buying pressure is so high that buyers are willing to buy the stock at every price and prices close near the high of the session. So we can expect that bullish sentiments can continue over the next few trading sessions and it is a buying opportunity. Now see in this example, the stroke was making a head and shoulder pattern that is a bearish reversal pattern and then we are getting a red colored Marubozu that is a long red candle and wicks are very small in this case. But this is a momentum candle and we can expect a further down move in the prices after this candle. Volume should be high at these candles and you can see volume is very high at this candle. Again in this case, you can see prices are in downtrend and this was the support level. Prices are taking support at this level. But suddenly we are getting a Marubuzu candle preaching this support level in downside. And this is a momentum candle so we can expect a further down move in the prices after this candle. See, in this case, prices were in uptrend and after this correction, we are getting a green Marubuzu candle that is a bullish candle. Volume is high at this candle that is giving us a signal about the further up move in the prices. And see, buying momentum is so high that we can see a sharp up move in the prices here. In this case also, this is a support level and near support level, we are getting a Marubuzu candle that is giving us a signal about the further up move in the prices and after this candle we are getting a very sharp up move in the prices. Now see in this chart here we are getting a red Marubuzu candle and after this candle prices are going in downward direction and this is a green Marubuzu candle. At each green Marubuzu candle we are getting a bullish momentum and after this candle prices are going in upward direction. Now sometimes we get this candle Marubuzu candle near the support or resistance level at the end of the move. See prices were in uptrend and near this level, this is a resistance level, we are getting a red Marubuzu candle. The previous candle is a hanging man candle that is a reversal candle and this candle is engulfing this candle. It means 
the open and close of this candle is above the open of this candle and below the close of this candle this candle is totally engulfing this previous candle then this candle gives us a signal about the pullback in the prices so this pattern is known as engulfing pattern and as the candle is bearish candle so this pattern is known as bearish engulfing pattern so when we get this candle near support or resistance level after sharp up move or sharp down move then we can expect a pullback in the prices here is one more example of bearish engulfing pattern see this is the resistance level and near this resistance level we are getting a red marbozu candle and this candle is engulfing the previous candle this is a long red candle so after this candle we are getting a reversal in the prices now in this chart this is the support level prices are taking support here and then we get a green marbozu candle that is totally engulfing the previous candle the previous candle is red colored candle so this candle is giving us a signal of an up move and after this candle we can see an up move in the prices and as the previous trend was downtrend it was a correction in the prices so this pattern is a bullish engulfing pattern and gives us a signal about the uptrend after the downtrend so these were some most important candlestick patterns there are so many other patterns also but these patterns are the most powerful candlesticks and tells about the market psychology but we shouldn't trust these patterns until they are very near to support or resistance level and until you don't get same signals with other indicators as well so we should also add other indicators with candlestick when we get these candles near support and resistance level and with this setup we can get different trading signals for our entry and exit positions see you in the next lecture thanks for watching